All right, got another dream <laughs> that I remember from 2016. This is a dream about martial law. We know that's coming. It's all over the internet. So anyways, um, as always, pray about this dream. Seek confirmation from the Lord. Seek the interpretation from the Lord through prayer to the Lord. Let's start with the dream. I'll read the dream and then I'll show it off in detail. I'll hack it out. I was inside this house that I've never seen before in a suburban area. I had a gun in my hand and so did my cousin beside me. Keep in mind this cousin of mine served in the Air Force in real life. Back to the dream. I had my weapon out and aimed at an army soldier coming up the inside staircase. As I saw his head pop out as he was climbing up, I shot a bullet at him and the bullet just flew within inches by his face, his eyes specifically. The bullet missed him and hit the wall directly behind him. And then there's a big hole in the wall. Then my cousin walks right by me and him, goes down the stairs and outside to the armored truck, then suits up in military camo, joining their side, One World Police State, where all the police, all the military come together as one for the new world order, one world police state, one of everything. I was able to see all of this from an aerial view outside from above the house. End of dream. So, basically, I was laying down with my cousin. We were inside this house staring at the staircase. We knew military soldiers were coming in. There was only one that came in. And he was climbing up the stairs, say like, say like this is a stair, it's hard to, ah, okay, there, it's like a stairway that goes up in this direction, okay, and we're over here, you know, directly over across from it, so we got a nice view of it. I got my handgun out, I see the military soldier come climbing you know, walking up the steps, the minute he's, he's going really slow because he knows that we could be armed and he doesn't want to get hit. So the very minute that his head pops up and he looks over and I see him, I fire a shot off. It goes right by his face like this and hits the wall directly behind him. Then my cousin immediately, he gets up, laying down with the gun. He gets up, walks right by me walks right down the stairs, right in front of this military uh, soldier and goes right out into the armored truck and gets suited up with them, joining sides with them. So he was civilian with me and then he suited up as an um, uh, army soldier. And remember, he's Navy SEAL in real life. So it's showing you the joint of Navy SEAL and army coming together as one. This is a one world police state. I had this aerial view the minute that he went out the front door, down the steps, out the door. I had this aerial view that switched in the dream to above this house. And I was looking down and I saw the armored truck. I saw a military soldier standing behind it. And I saw my cousin getting suited up. And that was the end of the dream. So martial law is coming. They will come into your houses. That's why they wanted to do away with guns before because they didn't want to have to worry about getting shot while they're coming to get you and put you into FEMA camps or coming to get you. And you know, they have FEMA camps set up. They have guillotines set up for people to die for their faith in Jesus Christ, Yahusha Hamashiach. So they have all this set up and they're gonna pull us out of our homes. Just like you've seen in Hunger Games. You know, these movies are not just fiction. I'm telling you, these movies are telling you the truth of what's to come. This is the enemy's plan and this is what's coming. You saw lockdown on Hunger Games. You saw, I believe it's Hunger Games that I'm, I'm thinking of. I didn't even watch the movie and I just seen this, this scene and I was like, oh wow, this is definitely coming. You saw lockdown of a curfew on Hunger Games and you see martial law, I'm sure, in other movies that you've seen. I don't watch films anymore, Hollywood films, so I can't tell you, but I know martial law is coming. So this is not to put fear inside of you. Trust in the Lord. Believe in your faith and stay strong. And let whatever happens, happens. Let the Lord guide you. Stay in peace. Don't worry about having fear over this world. 
don't fear he who can kill this kill the body but fear he who can kill the body and the soul in hell okay so god bless you guys yahusha loves you pray about this seek confirmation from the lord directly have a blessed day